In today's video, I am talking about what I believe is the most potent superfood on the planet. Can you guess what it is? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. Okay, so we've all seen the rise in superfoods these past few years. They've become very, very popular. But before I share with you what I believe is the number one superfood, let me just sort of define what qualifies something to carry that superfood title. A superfood is basically a food that is extremely nutrient dense in certain vitamins and minerals. So for instance, you have something like Camu Camu powder. It's gained a lot of popularity recently and it's known as one of the highest sources of vitamin C on the planet. Personally, I like to add it to my smoothies every now and then just to get an extra dose of vitamin C. You also have something like goji berry powder, which is high in vitamin C and antioxidants. I love that stuff too. And then you also have things like turmeric, which is a great source of vitamin B6, micronutrients, and it's a wonderful anti-inflammatory. And I use all of these superfoods. I believe all of them have great health benefits, but none of them are my number one. In my opinion, the number one superfood on the planet is grass-fed beef liver. Now, before you click off this video, hear me out. Grass-fed liver is loaded with a full spectrum of vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids in their proper ratios. And in fact, the reason why grass-fed liver is so effective at restoring someone's health is because it contains the most absorbable form of those nutrients. For instance, it's a great source of iron, specifically hemi-iron. Now, I'm sure you've heard that you can get your iron from things like leafy greens, but the fact of the matter is, leafy greens do not contain the active form of iron. And iron is essential in building up healthy blood, and it's a especially important for us women because if you still have your period, then you lose blood every single month. So it's very important to make sure that your iron levels are at a healthy level and you would actually be surprised how many women are deficient in iron. So some symptoms that you can look out for to see if you have low iron levels includes overall fatigue and weakness, pale skin, brittle nails, difficulty concentrating and focusing, and even shortness of breath, especially after working out or climbing stairs. Grass-fed liver also contains the most absorbable form of vitamin A called retinol. Now, this vitamin is essential for your vision, your skin health, your overall immune system, reducing inflammation, and it even contains cancer-fighting properties. Now, I know you've been led to believe that beta carotene and vitamin A are one and the same, but they're not beta carotene must be converted into the active form of vitamin A. And it's estimated that only about 10 to 20% of beta carotene is converted into retinol. So you wanna make sure that you're consuming something that contains retinol, the active form of vitamin A, and grass-fed liver is one of the highest sources of retinol on the planet. Grass-fed liver is also a great source of the entire B vitamin complex, including vitamin B12. And a lot of people are deficient in B12 nowadays, not just vegans, you know, people that are eating the standard American diet. And I believe that's one of the reasons why people struggle with such low energy levels nowadays, because they're deficient in B12. So it's important to start incorporating foods that contain B12. It's going to benefit your health greatly, especially in the area of energy. Now, of course, you can go out and buy the isolated B12 supplements, but keep in mind that taking a whole food supplement or eating the whole food itself is much better because all of the support nutrients are still intact and that's going to help it to absorb a lot more effectively. Grass-fed liver also contains the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin D, E, and K, which of course is essential for your skin, your bones, and just your overall immune system. It also contains selenium, which is essential for your thyroid health. It contains zinc, potassium, copper, CoQ10, and it even contains contains small amounts of vitamin C. It also contains the essential fatty acids, EPA and DHA, and that's just skimming the surface. I encourage you to do your own research of the health benefits of grass-fed liver because it's hard to find any other superfood that can compare to the entire nutrient profile of grass-fed liver. 
And by the way, you'll notice that I keep saying grass-fed liver, and that's because you wanna make sure that it's coming from a clean source, animals that have been either grass-fed or pasture-raised, not from conventionally farmed animals, from factory farms, because these animals, you know, they've been injected with steroids and growth hormones, and they've been fed a diet of GMO grains, and they're not healthy, so you wanna make sure that you're getting it from a clean source. I also wanna mention that you may hear people say not to eat liver because that's where the toxins are stored, and that's simply not true. Toxins are neutralized in the liver, not stored in the liver. In fact, the liver stores nutrients, and the toxins that you ingest are either excreted from your body or they're stored in your fat cells. And like I said, if you're getting your liver from a high quality source, then you have nothing to worry about. And you know, people have been consuming grass-fed liver for centuries. In fact, when they would kill an animal back in the day, they would actually eat the organs and glands first because instinctively they just knew that that was the most nutrient nutrient dense part of the animal. And the muscle meat, which is what we eat today, was either used as a last resort or it was thrown out. Now, if you're not a fan of the taste of liver, don't worry, I'm not either, I can't stand it. But what I've been doing for the past year or so, and I've been recommending it to my clients as well, is taking a high quality grass-fed beef liver supplement. And I'm telling you, it has made the biggest difference in my energy, my stamina. I feel like I last longer when I do my workouts. I have more, I don't know, just like more strength. I feel like it's helped with my skin and my hair, uh, my mental clarity, just my overall sense of well-being. And you know, I don't really take a daily multivitamin I just take my beef liver and a few other supplements and I take it because it's essentially like my multivitamin because it has such a great nutrient profile and you know a lot of my clients that I recommend it to it that take it as well all of them report that their energy goes up and they just feel better overall. Now, there are several different grass-fed beef liver supplements on the market. Uh, I wanna tell you the one that I use. I use Ancestral Supplements. No, this video is not sponsored. Even if it was, you guys know I only recommend stuff that I personally use or recommend to my clients. Uh, but I love their product because it's very high quality. It's grass-fed. And I love the fact that they have a wide array of options. They have different glandulars, different organs and glands that you can take for different uh, health reasons. So for instance, I also take their beef organs and it's a combination of the beef liver, beef pancreas, kidney, spleen, and heart. So it's a great sort of daily maintenance uh, type of supplement. Now, if you are deficient in iron, I would go ahead and just get the grass-fed beef liver because that's going to get your iron levels up really fast. It's going to improve your energy really fast. Uh, a lot of people I find do well when they take the grass-fed beef liver, the beef organs, and the bone marrow. The bone marrow is great great for your skin because it contains the collagen. In fact, that's the three that I take. Now, one thing I also like to add in every now and then is the beef pancreas. It's great for digestion. So if you have digestive problems or autoimmune conditions, you would probably benefit from the pancreas. Uh, they have beef heart, which is great for strengthening the heart, beef brain for neurological problems. In fact, in the future, I'm definitely gonna do a video on glandular therapy. It is so beneficial for your health where you take organs and glands that help that specific part of the body. So for instance, if you have brain or neurological problems, you can take the beef brain. If you have kidney problems, you can take the beef kidney. The pancreas problems, you can take the pancreas. And actually, I encourage you guys to research Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez. Um, now, he did mysteriously pass away. We won't get into that because I don't want to get kicked off YouTube. Uh, but he had a very high success rate using glandular therapy with his patients and even some of his cancer patients. So definitely look into that. Anyway, it's a very interesting topic, uh, but yes, organs and glands have been eaten for years and they're wonderful for your health. And it's definitely something that we're missing in our modern day diet. Just make sure you get a high quality source. Well, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to share with y'all what I think is the number one superfood on the planet and sort of open your eyes to the whole idea of glandular therapy and how effective it is. Hopefully it inspires you to go research more about it because I'm telling you, glandular Glandular therapy has helped so many people with underlying health issues that doctors couldn't diagnose and just, you know, nutritional deficiencies and all sorts of things. In fact, I have pretty much 
all of my family members stuck on this supplement. I've told you guys the story about my stepmom and how grass-fed beef liver was the only supplement that could increase her iron levels and really bring her out of that fog and fatigue. And she is thriving now, thanks mostly to taking different organs and glands, specifically the beef liver. But anyway, if you guys enjoy this sort of informational content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I'll know to make more like it. Of course, if you haven't joined the family yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button below. And if you're a loyal subscriber, which I'm sure most of you are, go ahead and hit that little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. And that's it for today. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!